When it comes to family and business, many say the two do not mix well. For twin brothers in Cape Elizabeth, being in business together is not only all they've ever known, it's also going really well. As 207's Beth McAvoy shows us, these siblings are on a mission to make the world a little more environmentally friendly, one lawn at a time. It's said that necessity is the mother of invention. We were freshmen in high school and all of our friends were starting to get jobs. Mom and dad were stopping to pay for our $5 Cumbies meals. For Philip and Dimitri Coop. We started need to get our own money together and it was really just time to get a job. Needing some green led them to start cutting the green. These twin brothers. I'm older, just by a minute or two. Share almost everything. Should I eat my banana or? Yeah, can I have some of it? From breakfast <laughs> to their lawn care business. <laughs> It's a business that's been growing in part because of how it's powered. All electric equipment from the trimmer to the heavy duty riding lawnmower. We're twins running an electric, zero emission, environmentally friendly business together. Everybody's grandma loves it when we knock on their door and explain what we're doing. And they just love that, they love the aspect of it. We're young entrepreneurs who are getting out, getting on our feet and making things happen. Their business is called Solar Mo. All their equipment is powered by the solar panels at the family's home in Cape Elizabeth. The brothers attribute their success to their father. Our dad actually ran a lawn business when he was in high school himself. He's got a very, you know, forward-thinking mind. He loves electric tools. He came up with the idea for us, or back when we were freshmen, why don't you guys start a lawn business like I did, but put a spin on it. We put together the idea for electric lawn care and we kind of jumped on it. A loan from their parents helped the brothers get their business off the ground. Our old mower, like I said, was the household ride on, meant for your lawn every week, meant for, you know, a smaller lawn every week. And we were mowing it like, I'd say when it died, we had, we were nearing 30 accounts, 30 lawns, and it started dying on us every two lawns. So we'd have to go out and mow come back, charge in the garage, and come back out to mow later in the day. Five hours to charge one battery really stalled business. And it was the typical argument for anti-electric equipment people who always say, oh, you can't, I don't want to buy this because it's just going to die on me. Like, oh, how often do you have to charge that thing? I don't want to charge that thing and have to go out twice the time and mow. But to be honest with you, if we hadn't ran a lawn care business with that household grade mower, it would be completely great. Two summers ago, the brothers took things up a notch when they purchased a $24,000 mower. When they saw the price tag? Huge gasp and now it's a huge sigh of relief that we've, we have succeeded in paying it back. But at the time it was, it was a decision to even invest in it. You know, we didn't, we didn't know if we wanted to. Their hard work is paying off, and they've already paid off their industrial grade mower. Most of their 30 clients are purposefully close to their home. We have our Ford F-150, which that's, all, that's our only gas kind of kink right now we have in the business. When they can, they use an electric vehicle to get to their jobs. We actually have a Ford Escape which gets up to 50 miles of electric runtime. Working with your twin brother has its advantages. You don't feel bad yelling at each other That's true. and fighting. That's We're not afraid to put true. each other in each other's places. Yeah. These teenagers play off each other's strengths. I'd say Dimitri's really good at being on schedule. You know, when we make a plan, following through with it. One of Philip's strengths is that he takes pride in all of the work that he does. He won't, no matter if he's tired or whatever, he won't miss a spot. He'll hit every spot. And he's very polite to all of our customers. He's a really good businessman. He's good at getting up early, you know, being on time to places. But recognize they still have room for improvement. I think he can improve on his attitude at times. I'd say getting up in the morning. Even before this interview, I was shaking him in his bed. Come on, we got to get up. It's in 20 minutes. Let's go. Innovation is fueling their business, and Philip and Dimitri Coop hope that what they're doing will help change other people's minds or at least get them thinking about alternative ways to do old chores. Once you um, begin using electric equipment, I don't think you'll ever want to go back. That's what I've seen. It's like 
it might be kind of hard to get started started on and hard to almost care about in the beginning but once you realize the potential that electric equipment has it becomes it becomes easy so Philip and Dimitri Koop will be seniors at Cape Elizabeth High School this fall. Last year, they were selected to give a TED Talk at their high school about their business. We're going to have a link to their TED Talk on our website. And Solar Mo is continuing to grow. Dimitri and Philip now have one part-time employee who just happens to be a friend of theirs. I was not aware that lawnmowers go for $24,000. Yeah, that's very... Uh, very up there. <laughs> but I'm tremendously impressed that they've already paid that purchase Yes, off. I was impressed with their teamwork, honestly, and the fact that they were like, we got to get a job. My gosh, when I was their age, it was like, do I really have to? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't really want to, but good for them. My first job was mowing lawns. I didn't have my own business, but I just mowed lawns for neighbors. Yeah. So brings me back.